Hey, this is the Mad Pirate Bippy. Um, this is my part two of Secrets of Weight Loss. Ooh. Um, if you haven't seen part one where I talk about exercise, basically, uh, here's the gig. I've lost 80 pounds, had really not, did not have a hard time with it. Um, still losing weight, doing great. And I just wanted to share what was working for me. I'm not selling anything, no guru. Um, just wanted to share what was working for me because a lot of people were asking. So, uh, part one, exercise. Basically, don't exercise to lose weight. <laughs> um, and part two. Oh, sorry. Uh, part two is food. Um, there aren't a lot of people who are severely overweight. And now I have the hiccups. Great. Um, not a lot of people who are severely overweight who don't have some sort of issues with food. And uh, I have super bad ADD and was reading some studies to see what I could do to try to support my ADD and ran across something interesting. Uh, they took a, some group, took a bunch of people who'd recently failed at a diet. The people who did worse on the diet, they ran them through an ADD assessment and most of them had mild ADD. So it looks like people who consistently fail at diets have some sort of fairly mild ADD to fairly extreme ADD. I have super, super intensely bad attention deficit disorder. So if I was going to be successful on any kind of a diet, I knew I was going to have to do something to support whatever I was doing because <laughs> it wasn't going to work. So I'm a big believer in automation. What I did was I joined a CSA that delivered, and I made sure that they delivered. So, pretty much anywhere you are in the country, you can find a CSA. It's Community Supported Agriculture. You get a subscription to a farm, and they do a variety of things on the farm. Most of them are organic, and you can basically get a weekly or monthly supply of high-quality organic healthy, seasonal, locally produced vegetables. And this is really, really healthy for you for a ton of reasons that have nothing to do with weight loss um, because they don't travel as far, the produce is fresher, there's more vitamins, there's more bioavailable minerals, yada, 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 it's all sorts of great stuff. So the real trick is it completely takes grocery shopping out of my hands. It completely removes impulse buying out of my hands because I have a very hard time not impulse buying. And, um, it just makes sure that there's always fresh vegetables and fruit in my house to eat and to cook with. Uh, whenever the house gets low on food, I would freak out. I would buy a whole bunch of starch because starch is cheap and it stores. And we have like, uh, you know, a whole bunch of food that then isn't extremely healthy, but is shelf stable and will stay around for a long time. And anytime we got low on food, I would go and buy a bunch of ramen just so we would have food in the house. Um, and that sort of falls into item three, which is emotional crap, but we're just talking about food right now. So, you know, I haven't worried too much about sticking to a diet. I know that diets are basically the new religion in this country. If you really want to start a religious war, you don't worry about Protestants versus Catholics anymore. It's, you know, South Beach versus Paleo or Atkins, you know, pick one. People get really, 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 really into their diets. And, uh, you know, I have my own opinions on what works and what doesn't, but it really doesn't matter what diet you're on, and I really don't worry too much about staying on a diet at this point. I mean, I may at one month decide to just really work on eating clean, but basically uh, meats are good, fruits are good, vegetables are good, wheat is bad, processed food is bad, and um, butter is a moderation thing, and I love butter. Uh, margarine is bad, you know, processed, lots of chemicals. We don't want that in our bodies, and there's other side effects. So as long as you sort of stick to eating things that were plants or were eating plants, you're going to be doing better than 90% of the people out there. Um, you know, humans weren't really designed to eat a lot of grains, so sort of keep grains to a minimum. I love to bake, um, and corn is in everything processed, so it's really hard to stay away from corn and wheat, uh, especially when you like making cookies. Uh, so, you know, that's just something that I try to do 
as a special treat. You know, once a week, go make something really nice that involves um, just a ridiculous amount of flour or sugar or butter or, you know, sort of uh, Julia Child slash Paula Deen. Just uh, sort of go hog wild. But if what you're eating day, -day, day to day is, you know, really healthy vegetables that you have on hand and decent quality meats, you'll be fine. Um, and one of my best friends lost a huge amount of weight going raw vegan. I've got uh, other friends that have lost a huge amount of weight going um, going paleo or hardcore Atkins. And the only thing I've seen that's similar between all of these diets that I've seen work, uh, you know, and because there's a huge difference between vegan and Atkins. You know, one is all vegetables and fruit and one is all meat. And the only thing I've seen consistently is they get rid of processed food and they get rid of flour and grains. So I just try to keep grains low. Uh, when I was first diagnosed with diabetes, I was testing my blood sugars eight to 12 times a day. My fingers hurt so bad. But every time I ate anything, I would write it down and I'd write down what my blood sugar reaction was to it. And I tried both the raw vegan green smoothies thing and I tried the paleo and those both worked you know my blood sugars were much more manageable anytime I've got corn syrup um, it's just really hard and wheat is my kryptonite I freaking love pasta I love baking anytime I have wheat my blood sugars stay elevated for two days doesn't matter what else I eat so if I eat sandwiches three days in a row because it's grab-and-go food and I'm a big fan of grab-and-go food when life sort of gets crazy um, you know, my blood sugars were just, even with medication, which just stay super elevated. So I know personally wheat is not something that works terribly well for me. And when I've seen other people that have been successful, um, most of them avoid wheat too. So oh, rice is also, it, it's sort of borderline. I don't have a long-term reaction to rice. Um... You know, it wouldn't keep my blood sugars elevated for two to three days the way wheat does, but it would definitely spike them. And I also love rice. Uh, love Asian cooking, love Asian food. So, you know, no rice, no pasta. It's impossible. I'm, I just can't do that. But I do, I do try to keep it to a minimum. Um, I don't focus too much on food right now. That's probably going to change, be, uh, you know, as I get the, the exercise more under control. Um, it's probably next on the list of things I'm going to focus on, really trying to get the food under control because I'm completely shit about breakfasts. Um, and uh, I do have a real weakness for convenience food. You know, I work, I've got kids. There are times when everything is running late, there's tons of doctor's appointments, you know, there's a tuba recital, and... McDonald's is the way to go because otherwise everyone is starving <laughs> like, and, and that's only if the McDonald's doesn't have a line in the drive-thru. It's got to be fast. So um, Trying to go ahead and and cut the use of convenience foods down to a minimum a lot of that is just the CSA because if I've got somewhat healthy veggies in the house to cook at a moment's notice for dinner then that's what I'm gonna cook and It's been working out pretty well so that's it for food, you know, the big takeaway is whatever you're doing, automate it, don't, don't leave it to chance, don't make yourself write out meal plans, um, you know, if there was a service where I could just have a menu and recipes that were good shipped to me along with a box of the ingredients every week, I would totally do that, because, <laughs> you know, that's just, that would, that would completely automate it, and the only way I'm ever going to be able to handle the food is if I'm not handling the food. So um, make the decisions way at a time and let it go. I'm also learning how to cook with a lot of ingredients I normally wouldn't cook with and that my mom never cooked with. So this week I'm gonna have to do something amazing with beets and beet greens. I've had beets like three times in my life, so and didn't really like them then. So I'm gonna have to really work hard to find something delicious to do with beets because they're healthy. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to say for me on at this point about food.